According to reports, Caleb Williams has massive expectations placed on himself. What's up, everybody? This is the Chicago Sports Talk Michael back at it again with another Chicago Bears video. So let's get right into it. And I just have to remind everybody this has to be it. All right, we cannot go through another situation where we discuss who we should draft as quarterback, who we should keep as quarterback. This has to be it. And he should be able to do it quickly because of one reason, because he because this is the best situation a quarterback has ever gone into. He doesn't have anything bad around him. And, people, and I just don't understand why people want to give him the rookie excuse his first year when he's going in that perfect situation. And Caleb Williams, I'll give him this. I'll give him this. He's got a great attitude to push himself to be the best of the best and chase Tom Brady. So, sorry about that. So, he has the expectation of being exactly like Tom Brady. And the one thing I do like about Caleb is because of the simple fact that he lacks what the Chicago Bears quarterbacks have ever did. He, um, The Bears quarterbacks, other than Caleb, are just like, hey, we'll just go to work, we'll uh, – you know, we'll just put our head down and do our work. Caleb's not like that. He's a guy that's very cocky, and I love it. I love it because that's exactly who I want as the Chicago Bears quarterback. And to be honest with you guys, I've given y'all my opinion about Caleb Williams, and the expectation should be playoffs this year because – I don't want Caleb, and also Caleb says this. He doesn't want to have moments where he wows you. He wants to win. He said it with his own words. Go take a look for yourself. He says he wants to win, not just to wow you. Like, oh, like I said, this shouldn't be a season where we should say, hey, what what can Caleb Williams? What are his strengths? What are his weaknesses? What's he? What 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 can he be? No, he's not looking for that. He's looking for – he's looking to win. He's not – He's he wants to be a part of a place for 20-plus years. One place. And he's already made it a well-known fact that he wants to chase number 12, which is Tom Brady. And that would be great for the Chicago Bears. Having somebody like Tom Brady. But – Will that happen? Will, is that going to ha most likely happen? Obviously not, because Brady has done something that has never been done before, and will ne and probably will never happen again. And I already know the Mahomes, you know, can catch up to him, but Mahomes is not catching up to Brady. Like I said, what Brady has done will will, will not be uh, accomplished again, and. Like I said, I love what Caleb Williams is bringing right now. I love the attitude, but people want to say it's to be seen. No, it's it's ha this this has to be it. Like I said, I'm done. We're done with this whole quarterback uh, carousel. Like we're just tired of it. Like I said, it's time for the, for the Chicago Bears to have a winner in to have a winning quarterback, and that should be Caleb Williams. And if I swear, if we if we talk about Arch Manning in 2028, I'm going to absolutely lose it because there is no way the there is no way it's on Caleb Williams. I'm going to keep saying that it's going to be on Caleb if this mess up, messes up. And I'm going to be critical on Caleb if he does bad or if he does good. It's not going to be a proven commodity. It's not going to. It's this is not. This is me saying 
yes, I this needs to end. And it's and it's going to end in year one. One way or another. This should be the year where it's to tell you. And I don't know what Caleb Williams has to deal with with what these like I said. There's illusion on Twitter and people want to say, oh, if you hold your I don't have I don't set my expectations on geeks on Twitter. I just love to hold motherfuckers accountable. I like to hold people that say that, oh, he's going to be the next Patrick Mahomes or that he's a blue chip player. And then they contradict themselves, be like, oh, he's just the rookie. He's just the rookie. You can't. And people want to say that, oh, CJ Stroud spoiled me. Caleb's going in a better situation than what Stroud did his rookie year. It, go look at the situation that CJ Stroud had his first year and go compare it to what Caleb will potentially going into. And he's go and he's gonna have he 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 has good pieces around him. He has DJ Moore, he has Keenan Allen, he has Cole Komet, middle of the pack offensive line, he has a good offensive coordinator in Shane Waldron, who took Geno Smith and 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 resurrected his whole career. It's who 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 can who uh, who can't say he's gonna do that with uh, Caleb Williams? And I guarantee you, Caleb's potential is better than Geno Smith's potential. So let's be let's be perfectly honest. This has to be it. I we cannot go through another quarterback carousel. We just can't. Because if we do, then what's the point? To ruin to ruin Caleb and then potentially draft somebody who you potentially will ruin, a.k.a. Arch Manning. So what are we talking about? So Caleb has the expectations, and he wants to be a part of the Bears for 20 years. And he should do that his first year, bottom line. And I'm and by the way, this is going – I will be live streaming the draft on my channel – I will be uploading one more final mock draft on a live stream. So anyways, that's it. That's all for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below if if um you you're excited about this cuz you want to know what I'm excited about this but at the same time I'm going to evaluate Caleb. Do I wish it would have worked out with Fields? Absolutely, but guess what? He might be feel Justin Fields probably was the sacrifice to what the Bears will probably have for years to come. So, anyways, that's it. That's all for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching and bear down.